Spoilers! If you haven't seen the first episode of Prehistoric Planet and care about being spoiled about the inclusion of some critters, stay away from this video till you've seen it. This video was made by using my own knowledge, scientific papers, as well as the words of the people involved with the show itself. This is in no way meant to provide undue criticism towards the hard work that went into the show. In fact, there are very little instances where it may come off as me saying that something is wrong. As I am not an expert on every single group of animals, living or extinct, I used the words of other experts that may know the given organism better than I. Many criticisms are merely nitpicking and do not affect the quality of the overall show, and many are also debatable. I used the words provided by lead paleontological consultant Dr. Darren Nash via his Twitter threads discussing the designs and design philosophy of all the animals in Prehistoric Planet to construct a more fleshed out scientific discussion than the show provides. Obviously, the show is meant to be more visual and myth-breaking or trope-busting than purely informational or educational. It does deliver a good amount of scientific information, but only that which is absolutely needed in the context of the scene or episode. I think a lot of people wanted more thorough explanations of why some animals were reconstructed the way they were, especially considering how strongly updated they are with speculative but scientifically rooted displays, behaviors, and tissues because of the stranglehold the 80s and 90s nostalgia-fueled outdated reconstructions have on most dinosaur-related media. So, please take all this into consideration when watching my scientific reviews of Prehistoric Planet. I was not aware of any information that may come out after the writing, recording, editing, or publication of these videos that may counter any issues I bring up with the dinosaurs of Prehistoric Planet. As of the writing of this preamble, no full-length documentaries or discussion of the behind-the-scenes work on the series has come out. Some rather short tidbits on the location filming, philosophy, and computer animation work have been released, but this does not entail the full breadth of the project. Kai Kai Falu, Design Kaikaifalu is a tylosaurine mosasaur from Antarctica. This guy pops up really quickly in the end Turiangisaurus segment to harass the pregnant mother. It pretty much follows similar design aesthetics and science as the mosasaurus, though definitely has a more interesting patterning with blotches of dark and light colors as well as stripes. Perhaps they are trying to infer ecology with the color scheme of this mosasaur versus the mosasaurus from earlier in the episode. They have Mosasaurus with an all-over tropical blue color with a lightish blue tan on the underside. The male also has a bright red patch on its head. The Kaikaifalu seems more adapted for deeper, darker waters, with a dark blue top and bright tannish white bottom. That makes perfect sense with its endemism to Antarctica and southern seas. Amelia Zetlov is back again with some minor criticism. Tylosaurine mosasaurs were different in a few key ways to the mosasaurine mosasaurs. The tylosaurs had rather pointed, elongate skulls with much longer tails. This Kaikaifalu seems to be a modified mosasaurus model as its head is more heavily built and it has a proportionally shorter tail. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my elephant tier patrons Ray, Isaiah Garza, Dinosaur, Christoph Hubinger, Biotaverse, and Arda Bayer. And another thanks to my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, The Dogman, Iron Bladesman, Danny Van Heck, and Dana Manchester.